Hey guys, it's Renee and today we're going to be making some cookies, some teddy bears, hauling or hiding some M&M's cookies. The first thing we're going to be using or needing is M&M's and obviously you can use any candy that you like. I tied off M&M's because I wanted like all the colors but just use the candy of your choice. Then I'm going to be using teddy bear cookie cutter. I found this a long time ago and it was it came in a set actually it was from Wilton. And then I'm going to be using my cookie dough recipe. I do have a recipe by the way. It's going to be linked below in case you don't have a recipe that you like or you just want to try this one. I actually found this idea online and the teddy bear was I guess a chocolate cookie dough and it was holding an almond. You know, later I'm going to be making a tutorial of that one, but for now we're just going to be using a sugar cookie dough. So to start with, I'm just going to roll my cookie dough using my rolling pin with my spacer bands that I do have a tutorial on and it's a kind of a DIY project and I'm going to link below. This is just going to give all my cookies the same thickness. Then I'm just going to cut my cookies with my cookie cutter and yeah, just cut as many cookies as you can. And then we're just going to start at the fan. I'm just going to take my cookie and I'm just going to take my M&M and I'm just going to place it on like the heart or the kind of the, you know, the breast part of my teddy bear. And then I'm just going to close the arms so they seem like they are hugging the M&M just like so now if you're not really sure about how to lift the arm part or if your cookie dough is really sticky you can use a spatula to just help you out to just kind of uh, help you lift those arms once I have done that, I'm just going to repeat the process for all my M&Ms. I'm making kind of three batches. So all my teddy bears go to the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. Just keep an eye on that. Under 350 degrees, your cookies have left the oven and they are all ready to go. And this is it for like the teddy bears that have no faces on them. So this is just the first option. Okay, for the second option, I'm going to mix just a tiny bit of just like a drop or maybe two drops, depends how, man, how many teddy bears you have to decorate, a brown gel food coloring and some almond extract. I chose almond extract because it's um, translucent. And then I'm going to just mix the whole thing and I'm going to be using actually toothpick for this. And then I'm going to start working on those ears. It's actually quite easy just to seize. And then I'm going to start with the eyes. The eyes are just pretty much first dots and then kind of working your way around it and you know just make them as big as or as small as you want you can even use the back of a brush if you want the dots to be a bit bigger the nose part is pretty simple it's just a triangle going down and then for mouth it's just an m or a w depends on the angle you see it for me I'm doing it right now it's just a w but for you it might be May look like an M right now. And this is it for the option number two, the ones that have bases, the standard ones. And then for the sassy ones, I'm going to add the effect of lashes. This doesn't necessarily mean these are girls because guys can wear lashes as well. So I'm just going to drag from the point that I dragged at the beginning, just, you know, three strokes or three semi lines. So this is option number three. And I just want to share this idea. I thought it was really cute from the first time that I saw it online. Again, I'm going to try to look for the photo if I saved it. I'm just going to link it below on my blog. Subscribe if you liked it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you give it a try. Hope you like it. 